Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Get to the airport, talk to her, that's it. What's she doing? We shall please calm down. Leave me alone! Get 
All this mayhem! Nothing to do with me! Trespassing! That's the most you got on me! I got what I came for! I'm leaving! Die, motherfucker! Hey, Lester. We got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. How you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need, put those on, then what? Then, head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, Meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. Mike, you ready for me at the bureau? Yeah, it's almost that time, Frank. Link up with Moda and Welsh. Get the fire truck. Be ready to go as soon as I say so. Shit, we'll be good to go. Me and Gus will at least. You? I don't know, dog. Just clear your pass with security, and you can go up. Yeah, 
why they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. Dirty mop. Watch out, kids. The glamour of fighting crime with statistics in the FIB. you needed proof coffee was a diuretic. Janitor? Was the last one a heart attack or a budget cut? When are you gonna get out of here? When I log my OT for the week. Yeah, it's not about being a They don't work so hard. We're all leaving in a minute. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Shit's in motion, people. We raiding the bureau. Y'all ready for this? In and out, homes. Let's do it. Detonate the incendiaries, Frank. I'll get this turnout gear on.
Let's get there. So Lester hijacked the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. Pull up over here. In the building. Come on. Painkillers or that loose notory weed at the time. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. Stairs are here. We take them up to 53. Keep going. Almost at the top! Stand back. Silver drive, middle stack, far wall. I got the drive, let's go. It's collapsing. Oh, we gotta move. I can't die here. Man, almost with you. That 
Let's break! All right, kid. Hey, we're going over this. Follow me. to the right and torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is going to know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit, shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. Haha, <laughs> you're right. So, uh, take us to our get out, avoiding the cops, Feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? Crib, ain't it? Keep your heads down, you hear? <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A Ray, we oh, did it! Ow! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow, ah. ow, ow, ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Ugh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> man, that's some foul ass shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davey and Dick Wild. Uh, for serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. 
It's one way to look at it, huh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. <laughs>